Hey everyone, Vincent here from CreativeDojo.net. Today in this video tutorial, we're not exactly in After Effects. I have no idea why I have After Effects open right now. But today we're going to be discussing about a really quick Windows tip that I'm going to share with you guys that will hopefully boost up your uh, productivity in your daily workflow. And this is a huge saver for me in my Windows workflow. Of course, a solution would just to get a Mac like what Howard told me to do. Um, but that's not a very financial uh, option for me right now. But though I am working on it. And um, so today I just want to share with you a really quick tip. So um, it has to do something with the Explorer in Windows. And so as you see here, I just have a Windows Explorer open right now. It's all nice and convenient. I have my favorites right here, locations where I can easily access my desktop, downloads, Dropbox, Creative Dojo. And this can easily be customized by just dragging a folder in here and then it'll be in your favorites. So whenever you want to navigate to something that you access quite often, it, it can easily be accessed through the favorites window on the Explorer. It's so really convenient. So if I go into Chrome and let's say I want to save or open a document, I can just go hit control S and as you can see my favorites folder shows up and I can save it at whatever folder I want. I can save it to my video high folder, my creative dojo folder. I can save it to wherever I want because it's so easy to access right here. Now the problem with this is it's not available everywhere you are. For an example in After Effects and Photoshop and Premiere if I try to open a document or import something, you can see that we get this crappy kind of slimmed down version of Explorer. You only have uh, five panes right here and it's not very useful. I mean, recent places, I don't use recent places. I probably should. Uh, I probably use a desktop the most. I don't use library. I kind of use my computer when I have stuff in the, my external hard drive and I don't use network because I don't have a uh, network hard drive or anything like that. So it's pretty very limited. So anytime I want to go access a folder, I would have to go to my desktop and scroll through all the millions of folders I have or go to the uh, drop down pane right here. And it's, it's very tedious for me. And if you do a lot of file saving, file management, it's a very painful and tedious task to actually have to go through all these crappy um, choices right here. I don't know about you guys, but I don't use these options that much. Now there's actually a way to customize these kind of panes for uh, quicker access to your most commonly used folders and I don't know why Windows didn't really make this more convenient for us to change, but uh, that beats the point. So to change that kind of pane, it's called the common dialog I believe or common pane or uh, places bar. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your start menu. Now this will work with Vista and Windows 7, I have no idea about Windows XP right now. Um, and we need to type in search in GP edit dot MSC and it's going to bring up my little console program right here. We're going to click on it. So now we're in our local group editor. Now we want to make some room here and let's go down to administrative templates under windows components and let's just scroll down until we see windows explorer and we're going to try to edit this stuff. So we're going to go to the common open file dialog, which is that kind of dialog that you saw just a minute ago when we kind of, this kind of dialog right here is the commons file dialog and this is the places bar. And we want to customize these places to more, to a more customized and useful place rather than libraries or recent places. So back to the GP edit, uh, as you see here, we have an option items displayed in places bar. Now I have no idea why this is so hidden and this is so deep into this uh, local group policy editor. I don't know why you can't just drag in new items or folders, but basically, I mean, just look at all these folders right here. Oh, sorry. I'm kind of getting a little distracted. What am I talking about? I never get distracted. Anyways, back to the places bar. Um, we can customize this by going to the items displayed in places bar and as you can see we can actually customize the places bar and we have five items to display. So we can right click on this, click on edit and you'll probably need administrative uh, rights to do this, I'm not quite sure. So right here we want to change disabled to enabled and here we can customize the path of the places. So I'm just going to uh, copy and paste some of the paths that I want. As you can see we can paste in shortcuts to local folders, shortcuts to remote folders, FTP folders, web folders, and common shell folders. So you can pretty much access whatever folder you want, whatever place you want, by entering the path in these little boxes right here. 
All right, so I have my place as a display set up. And one thing to remember and to be aware of is that to make sure that you don't have any quotes around your paths. I know a lot of scripts and uh, quick little tweaks and programs like to use quotes around their path, and I like to do that too. But make sure that you don't have any uh, parentheses or anything like that or uh, quotes around your path. So just make sure you delete them. And just paste in your path. Make sure there's no spaces between anything, like my computers and desktop. And once you're set, just hit apply hit OK. So now if you have any file dialogs open, make sure you close them, maybe restart your program. So back in After Effects, as you can see, when we try to import something or open a document, you can see that our places bar is now changed. We don't have recent places anymore. We don't have network anymore. We now have whatever folders or locations that we customize. And this is really handy for me because I hate navigating through all these folders and all these routes just to access a file that I want to use or I want to save. So that way we can customize this places bar a lot easier and we can navigate to our work a lot faster. Just a really quick tip for all you Windows users. Again, this doesn't work for just After Effects. This works for pretty much throughout the whole operating system. So whether you're in Photoshop or Cinema 4D or you know Camtasia Studio, Vegas, Fruity Loops, whatever you're in, this will change the common file dialog. So hopefully a quick tip for all you guys out there that are you know doing a lot of file management and all that stuff. So just a really quick tutorial for you Windows users. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like these kind of quick tip videos on productivity videos, feel free to let me know because I like doing these too. They're very easy and quick. My name is Vincent Wynn from creativevejo.net and I'll see you guys next time in the next video tutorial. Bye guys.